right guys, well, here's where we're at. Pretty much everything's loose on the car. Bell housing bolts, converter bolts are out. Headers are gone. Motor plate is loose. Lateral limiter removed. Vacuum pump removed. Water pump unplugged. So the only thing left to do is to drain the radiator and really jack up the transmission and then start to lift the engine up and see if it just pops out, pops loose away from the mid plate. I don't think I've done pull the engine out since I've had the mid plate, only the transmission. So we'll see how that goes. Now, one of the things I'm doing is loosen up the radiator cap because I want to drain the radiator. One thing I always hate is messes. So I try to keep things clean and neat. I got drain pans down here on the floor with drapes. You might be able to see that. And then here's a little tidbit. So the cylinder heads that I use, those Ford Motorsport A3 heads, they're imported at least 2.2 pounds, like a kilogram out of them from their natural weight when I weighed them before and then when I got them back. He said that their castings are so thin, which is kind of scary, but he said you have to run a seven pound radiator cap. Can't run any more than that. You don't want to have it overheat and have it blow through the ports. So it's kind of reassuring there, Darren. But I've used this, haven't had any issues with it. Doesn't really run hot. Um, so let's get the water drain from it. See how this works. I, I used this little funnel that actually Billy Ray Morgan made for me on one of my old deal, my old radiator setup. Because the angle of this is difficult to get it to drain perfectly without hitting something part of the cross member or something. I don't want antifreeze all over, or water, I should say. So what I did is I just used the funnel, and I'll show you. It's better to show you than you can see what I'm talking about. Let's make sure we don't have a mess going on. Yep, we look really good. So get a little closer view. Everything's undone. It's really not that hard to pull this engine. I could probably do it in about an hour and a half if I really busted booty. But I've been working on it now for, I don't know, for about a week and a half to two. A little here and there at night. Just don't have the time to sit and spend with it. But there it is draining the water out. So I'll just let that thing drain. That's one thing I hate is messes. So we'll let that sit there and drain for an hour. I'll go make a video. So while well, that's draining, I'll kind of tell you where we are from the diagnostic point of view. If people haven't seen that or if this is in there and I forget to mention it, either way, the bottom line is before I took anything apart, I did a compression test on all eight cylinders. They were all like 200, I think one was 198 or something, but they're all 200 right in that range. So that tells me that I don't got a bent valve, right? I don't have a broken valve, something chipped off. I don't have a compression leak. So that's a good thing. That means the top end's good. Was it burning oil or smoking? Really have to see the damage below because I, I don't want, I'm not a fan of just stuffing bearings in there and taking it back there and then having debris being in there or having something, it's, it's just not worth it. I'd rather just go through it R&R. &R. It's already got 30 something, pull, 26 pulls plus the runs, 35 runs or something like that, whatever. But I'm not against pulling the heads off, cleaning everything up and putting it all back together with 100% surety versus stuffing, you know, bearings in an oil pump or whatever and saying, yeah, you're good to go. I don't know, we'll have to see what it looks like. I'm surprised there wasn't more, I cut the filter open, I'm surprised there wasn't more debris in there. I pulled the distributor, put a 516 socket on the oil pump drive shaft, spun it, it just spins. Like there's no resistance, like it doesn't pick up any oil. I checked the gauge that I run now with one that I've run on other engines that I know is a good one, even though it's cracked, that's fine. And now it comes down to the failure, it could be a bearing failure, could be a cracked block, could be an oil pump. We'll just say a pump in general, whether it's the body or inside the gears break or something. Oil pump drive shaft, unlikely, unless it's stripped all the splines, which I don't think so. Um, that's kind of where we're at. But a lot of parts on this engine are old, you know, pistons are, one 11 years old, been beating on this block for 11 years. The roller lifters are 11 years old. I know, but they need to change. Had good luck with creating ultra pro lifters if they even still make them, so. Probably made by some Chinese company. But I'll let this thing drain, we'll let it go, and we'll pull the hoses off, and we'll get this engine out. All right, well, I'm trying to pull this thing out. 
and it's a lot more difficult by yourself. I was going to get some help, but no help right now, so I'm going to try to get this thing out. steering shaft is real close to the oil pan. Let's make sure we're clear here. Transmission's still there. Converter looks okay. Yeah, this is the hard part.
So I got this this off. I got the spreader ring. Someone told me about it. I never had one before. 20 something years, never used it. The uh, I set an oil sample to Lake Speed uh, actually today. So he's going to have that analyzed, get that analyzed. We're going to compare it to the oil after it had 26 dyno pulls. What we'll do is we'll find out how much bearing material is in there. You know, they go by everything from aluminum to zinc, whatever metals, what contaminants possibly could be in there. So we'll compare it to the dyno session after 26 pulls, which was normal oil to this and we'll kind of get an idea you know whether it's a broken lifter I, I don't know crack block can't say but we know it ain't right now that it's out it's a lot easier to work on i'll tell you i tell you having this out makes it so much easier to work i could have dropped the oil pan in the car i was looking at it and i said oh yeah i could drop this oil pan and i started thinking about it i said you know what i'm not gonna work on my back it's hard enough doing what i gotta do I said, I'm not doing that. So it's easy for me to just pull the damn thing out. And uh, I think it'll be much easier to deal with whatever issue it is. The other advantage of taking it out is I can I can do a way better cleaning job, clean stuff up. You know, just pull go through all this and just sneak stuff in there. Although uh, you don't know, I haven't thought about it. If everything looks good, the bearings are just bad. So I, I don't know. We'll figure it out when the time comes. This engine stand is my first engine stand. I had this thing for like 40 years, since I was 16. Surprised it's lasted this long. Some cheap buffalo tool, I think it was called. To do it all together, transmission and engine all together, slide it in, be done with it, slide it out. But this way, maybe it is a little easier. I don't know. We'll figure out when we're going to put it back in. But I've done it before, so. All right. So, Mrs. Drag Boss and uh, Elena, the boss set, they came to help me flip this motor over to drain uh, any uh, water out of it. And then we're going to pull the oil pan. i got to pull the oil pan out. It's driving me crazy. This wants to help. Oh, yeah. Who's this here? So, now listen. This thing can go wild, so we gotta just take our time. All right. Okay. We're gonna go down slow. Oh, um, I'm not high. Ah. The dipstick that fell off? The dipstick fell out. Okay, no big deal. Yeah, don't And something sounded. Something in there? Wow. Something clunked around. I felt okay. <laughs> What's in it? Okay. I mean, that's telling me that it could be the pickup, the oil pickup, you know, or the pump broke or something. That's what that's telling me. Can you rock it back and forth and see if you hear it still on it? I mean, you probably could, but it's not. It's safe. leaking. It's not safe. It's that's okay. Down. That's just water coming out of it. Well, there you go. All so right. let's do this. I'm going to get the stuff ready and we'll get the oil pan off and then we'll, we'll find out for sure what's going on. All right. Thanks okay. for the help of getting me in the position to work here. Or they'll pull the heads off and all that stuff. No problem. Yeah, how is the water dirty? That's uh, been an old rusty engine block through old parts. What are you doing? Anyway, so we'll get back to you.
I'm dying to know what that is. I, I thought that was just a different thing. Uh, it felt like something. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Just... Hang on. Say bye, guys. Bye. All right, so here's our job, Elena, because I don't know if I heard something rattle in that pan when we turned that over. I thought it did, but I don't know. Because a dipstick fell out at the same time, but it's making me wonder. So you don't remember this, but when you were like, let's see, three years old, you were doing this. Uh, I was? Yep. So main, main thing is make sure your hair's out of the way. Okay. Yep. So come here. It doesn't really matter the order you take it off. I just like to come out from the center and work out. So just take it easy with this thing. Nice and slow. See? Oh, All right, I'll hold it when you try it. Up there. Can you reach it? Yeah. All right, pretend you're holding it. Yeah. Now you got to watch out now because you got to be able, yeah, good, good, good. Yeah. Okay. Let's just put that over here and right there. Okay, then I'll try by myself. All right, now remember, it can get out of hand. You let off that button if it gets crazy. <laughs> I think I can do it by myself. Okay, okay. Because I do it when I was a so I just... Nice and easy. Yeah, watch that thing. It's a little long extension. Yep, yeah, good. Good. Now, let's try this. Got it? Mm -hmm. Make it a little bit less of a do that without it. Mm -hmm. But now there's oh, sorry. <laughs> so anyway, so I am dying to get this pan out. Because I swear to God I heard something. How, what did you hear? Like a rattle. Can you put this in? Yes. So turn it. Yeah. Now look at see, it's got a square there. And then you slide it in. Yeah. Come over on this side and do a few. Uh, on this side? Yeah, I don't know. It just makes me feel better when you take them off either. Yeah. What can Oops. you get on there? Now, when you're doing it, careful. Yeah, enough. try to do this. Let's see how you're holding it. It's hard. If I was like this, I hold it like a gun. So hold it like a gun. Can you reach the trigger? Yeah. Yeah. Now, Put like it. this, yeah. Put it on there. Use your hand. Where's your other hand? Guide it up here. To steady yourself. Now just bump it a little. There you go. Good. Don't get loud now. We don't want to do it. Alright. Oh. And I was doing that. See, one of the most important things we don't want to be doing is dropping Did parts. Oh, they dropped it. Yeah, I thought you were supposed to hold it. Let me see it. Put it here. Okay, I got it. I can do it. So one of the most important things we want to do is not be dropping things. I might even put some paper towels in here. We don't want to drop things in the motor. We don't want to take the pan off. We don't want to drop anything in there if we don't have to. Because then so, if it like gets like stuck and we can't find it. Right. Well, then it can wreck a motor or engine and you don't want that to happen. And then... Hi, guys. Oh, hi, Mrs. Hi. Greg Watts. How are you? Good. I remember you saying you were going to do the oil pan, so figured come out and get an update. Yeah. Well, so Izzy helped me do on. a lot of the work under the hood. So Elena's going to come here. Now, we got to pay attention to her hair. You don't want our hair getting caught. You know that? Uh, yeah. Could okay. you just reverse it? Yeah, you probably could, but it would it would be painful. So I nice and easy. So yeah, so I, I wasn't sure if there was a clunk when I turned when we turned that over. You want me to turn it over? Mm -hmm. Or if it was the dipstick falling and hitting the floor. I mean, it might have been just that. You know, I didn't I can't hear anything now, so clunking it around. Yeah. Yep, perfect. I mean, we you should get some smaller gloves for you. It's really hard to work when your gloves are too big. Because it's hard, like, to pick the thing up. Correct. I'm going to stop Yep. It's going to be hard. So, to remove so, the oil pan, you have to... Whatever, there's 16 bolts. bolts or something. I don't even know how many bolts. Yeah, you just have to pull them off, and we can pop it up, and we'll get an idea of what's going on. So, you know, it happened, like, on, what, 510? This happened on 510, so... Kind of hard because I'm I was recording this for my channel with Elena. You have to be careful, and now you're kind of oh recording us. So oh, you're recording. Yeah, isn't that funny. Oh yeah, sorry, dude. Yeah, isn't that funny? So it happened on 510. That's when the that's the last race, and then it really for the last since then you know past few weeks I really haven't wanted to do a lot with it. You know, I've been doing a lot of family stuff with the kids, and, and we got the pool going. Mrs. Dragboss has got the pool going. Okay. Excellent. Um, a great duck, Bill. Yeah. So, I got it when you hold that. Okay. Yeah. I'll take it.
Yep, good. And there's the washer with it? What? The washer's okay. with it? That's what I, I lost. Okay. I couldn't find it. Yeah, yeah. we had a lot, a lot of things done. And um, so yeah, lots of stuff has been going on, so I haven't had much time, plus of work, to be able to really spend a lot of time taking it apart. So I said, you know what, I'm going to take it apart. the whole thing off. Like no, up. well, you still got to get these bolts. Oh. So let's then why is it coming apart? Well, it's just the it's there's still bolts over here. It's just the way the, the tension is on the pan because it doesn't fit flat. It has a little bit of a, a arch to it, so it seals kind of fastens down tight. There you go. Yep. And but, um, why is these bolts so big? Well, they're the end bolts. Oh. Let's get these guys. So get that guy out of there. And then we'll do, and then that do the other side. side. But, um, so I've been doing a little at a time. Every time I come out, I might do work about, I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, hour. That's it. Just get doing it in sequence. Okay. And, yeah. I don't know. Oop, Dad just dropped the washer. Right there. I'll get it later. Go ahead. I'll get it for you. Okay. There you go. All right. Okay. Yep. Let's zip these guys off. I right here. Um, like, I don't like. I know how to get those. We'll get those. I'm just taking it off. I'm loosening up already. Oops. Yeah, I'd be tripping though if that pickup I'm came sorry. off the oil pan. I mean, uh, the um, if the pickup came off the oil pump, I, I just would be flabbergasted. I mean, it's a screw-on pickup. I hate the way they do that. It screws onto the oil pump, and I know I use Loctite on it just for that reason. But sometimes if people will weld it in a certain application, probably could on this. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Yep, I got it. And uh, I don't know, it just sounded like that. That was the sound you hear. Yep. Watch your finger. Hit it. I don't want to hit your finger. I'm all right. Hit it. I'm trying. I'm Yep. Oh, I see. You see, you got to be on it square. Yep. Three square ones. means flush when you hit it. What about these ones? Those are the head bolts. Oh. We're not taking those off right now. Yep. So we're going to take them off later? Yeah, me. But like that, that kind of brings to the point that I was trying to get to is the fact that when you get this far, how far do you go? If the pickup just fell, do you just Put that in there, pull the bearings, and look at it. Yep, it's good to go. With all the metal, they take it right down and clean it up and re-ring it. I, I don't know. See what the problem is. That's that's where you have an issue. That's where you need this. You can't. You can't hit. The pan is too the high. Side? Yeah, but the pan has a kick out on this side. Hmm? Oh yeah. Oh. You see that? Then push, push it back in. Yeah. <laughs> You ready to get it? Right. Get that guy out of there. Yep. And, and uh, the one in front? Yep. <laughs> oh my god, look how lucky I am. It landed right here. I thought it can go all the way Did you get it? Mm -hmm. But see, that's a good point right there, boys. Make sure you put paper towels in the exhaust ports when you're doing stuff like this. I, I put them. Just hold on to them. We're not done yet. I'll put it over there. Yep. Break already? Alright. Can you get that little washer? That's a lot of... Do that little washer? Can you take it out of it? Okay. Now put these in the bag. Where? Right in the oh. stuff in there. Oh no. Maybe there isn't. Nope, it isn't. It isn't. Okay. See, I have my glasses on, so it's hard to... Do I put it in the same bag? Yep, all in the same bag. And plus, here's a couple more. See, now I'm getting kind of disorganized here because I got junk laying all over just because I want to die to see what's inside here. So, let me see if it pops off. We are too. Yeah. Yeah. Something in there. All right, guys, so we got all the bolts off. You know, Mrs. Drag Boss was here, so I kind of stopped videotaping so we could kind of 
do a video for her channel and she, she can kind of see what's going on. So go to her YouTube channel, Mrs. Drag Boss, and you can see what we talked about, of the things that we did to help diagnose this to see where we are. So let's let's pull off this oil pan. We got the bolts off. It's it's let's see if we can get it loose. It's already loose. Yeah, let's see what we got. our problem. This? Yep. No. Pick it up. How do I have Pick it up. Pick it up. Uh, a saint. That's all right. There's the problem, boys. Broken pickup. What the hell? Damn it, man. So now comes the question of band-aid it or do the right thing. So I got an oil sample sent to Lake Speed Jr. He's gonna do an analysis on it, kind of compare what it was after 26 dyno runs, what's had no wear whatsoever. So whatever I do for oiling, sure must work. And the pan, I mean, there's not any debris in it. It's a little, got some blackness to it, which is just the detergents and stuff and dirtiness from there. But yeah, look at that. Can you believe that? That's like nasty. Why does it feel like this? Well, that's oil. Oh. But there it is, broken. I'm gonna go get a new pair of gloves real quick. Because I need... I'm down, I need a new pair of well, gloves. Well, okay. That's fine. But you know what? I know that nothing fell apart. The windage tray that I got from Blake Livingstone is fitting perfect. Everything looks nice in there. I don't know. I guess we got to see what the oil deal is. But something maybe hit that oil pan. Might have been that thing hit it. I don't know. Is it heavy, that thing? No. Well, there you go, guys. Now you know the rest of the story <coughs> of why that thing dropped oil pressure, shifted into high. Bam! Done. Yeah, we should do questions. So, like, I ask you questions, you have to answer them. Oh, well, we should? Yeah. Okay, pick a question. How did that thing fall off? You know what? I don't know. Did it fall off the bottom? You know what? I don't know. No, yes. there's lots of reasons how it could have broken off. Wow. One <coughs> is vibration, harmonics. You know, maybe something is causing it to vibrate and move and cause it to break. I, it's not, I don't think it's, it's not hitting the pan because I know that. It's right where it's welded too. If you look here, this thing is welded here. Uh, so it kind of broke right there? where the weld is. How did it get all the way over there? Just floated, it's underwater. This is all oil. This is covered, all this is covered with oil. That's what runs lubricates the engine. So it was like underwater in oil? Right. Well, Ew. this is, right, this is, it mounts like this. and sucks oil up to feed the engine. It all broke off right at the weld, so the weld broke. I'll bring it in, let me bring it in and show everybody. But you can see. Ew. Oh, it stinks. I like that smell. It does not smell good. But there it is. So there's the pickup there. And you can see right there where it broke. Dad, you know, when you adjust it, that's where you adjust it. I mean, I grab it with a pipe wrench and twist it. But look at that. Sorry. <laughs> Dad, Man. maybe that's where all the excess oil came from here. Because look, at, there's like green oil too. Yep, you're exactly right. It, it ran down from there. How? Does it just go down? Well, there's oil everywhere on here. And it just dripped down here and runs down here and gets here. It's all right. We're going to clean it all up. I think, I don't know. Now we have to figure out what we're gonna do. Band-aid it, pull the, pull the mains and, and a few rods and see if they look good. Dad? Or tear it down and just start over. Does band-aid it mean like you put a band-aid on it? Kind of, <laughs> yeah. It means you put a band-aid on it. Oh. It means that you give it a temporary solution 
to a, a problem that may be way more than you know. All right, guys. Now you know the rest of the story. Nothing that I wanted to see at this time. Those rods are cooked. The rear ones, the rear four, are not so much, but in this situation, I'll replace all the rods. The crankshaft may be salvageable, but I don't think so. I talked to Tom Molner, Molner Crankshafts. He's going to work with me to get this fixed. I've also talked to numerous builders who said this is a common issue. My buddy Mike Weeks showed me what he did to his pickup for his cleave, and here's a picture of it. So stay tuned to Drag Boss Garage because you never know what you're going to see or learn. Let's get this 409 Cleveland back to the track.